crowds cheer as the first musher of the 41st annual Iditarod heads out across the lake. For many here, this is the last chance for them to cheer the mushers on before they head into the wild. The mushers' starts are staggered by two minutes so the dog teams don't get tangled early on the trail. Another musher heads out of the gates as rock music blares and the crowds cheer. The men, women, and dogs that compete in the Iditarod every year are joining in a long tradition. The first Alaskans used dog sleds long before Europeans arrived here. Later, Russian invaders used them too. In the 1880s, American prospectors rode dog sleds into snowy regions they couldn't get to any other way. Pioneers soon followed, settling Alaska on dog power. Today, the mushers in the Iditarod honor those days. They follow a route that was forged during a famous Alaska rescue. It happened in January 1925. The western Alaskan city of Nome was in the grip of a deadly outbreak of diphtheria. Thousands of people could die unless an antitoxin serum hundreds of miles away in Anchorage could reach them in time. To get the serum there before it was too late, 20 mushers banded together to drive their dogs across Alaska's frozen wilderness in a daring relay. They managed to deliver the serum to Nome in just 127 hours, saving the people of the city and making headlines across the nation. Today, every musher who races in the Iditarod is honoring that achievement. But this race is not a relay. Each musher has to drive his or her dogs all the way to Nome. The race begins northwest of Anchorage at Willow Lake. From there, the teams head west, up and over Rainy Pass. Then, depending on the year, the dog sleds take a southern route via Anvik or a northern route via Galena. All teams head north past the coastal town of Koyuk. And then, after racing for almost a thousand miles, they arrive at the finish line in Nome.